Hello everyone and welcome back to another snack video. We got a bunch on deck today, let me tell you. It just seems like these products, these companies are just not stopping anytime soon. They're just like, we're in the wave of new flavors, whether it's soda, chips, sweet things, pastries, cereal. The 2020s really seem like the year of new flavor combinations for junk food and I'm here for it. So let's start. Starting with the Baja Fiery Mango Doritos. Dude, I am so excited for these. You guys know that I am a Mountain Dew stan. I love it so much. Also, just like, look at this bag. This bag is literally beautiful. They smell good. They remind me of like, uh, kind of like the Degree Burn Doritos from back in the day. They don't smell that spicy, but they have like a similar smell in general. Oh wow, they actually look pretty seasoned. For sure. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, it's still doing stuff in my mouth. Okay, these are weird. They're good, they got a little kick to them. The mango flavor is there. Like it is in there, dude. It tastes, it, kind of, it definitely has like artificial mango flavor, but it's not as bad as the Laguna Lemonade Mountain Dew, if you guys remember that, which I thought it was gonna taste similar to since it's the Baja mango flavor, whatever. It, it, it It's so hard to describe. It tastes like mango, like your brain wants it to be sweet or like not, but just like a mango flavored thing, fruity. And then it like, and then like the kicks of tomato and garlic and stuff hit you. It's really like eating mango salsa in a chip. So if you're into that, I would definitely get these. I love these bags. I have so many of these and maybe uh, when they get discontinued, we'll do a giveaway or something of one. I'm gonna have to give this a nine out of 10 right off the bat. I can't help it. I cannot help it. It's amazing. All right, next up, we got some cheesy jalapeno popper Pringles. Now, this is a limited time only. Um, I don't know if this is, if you can get these, I don't even remember where I was when I got these, to be honest. It wasn't at the store I work at. I think, I wanna say it was maybe Family Dollar even. I don't remember, but it's a limited time only, and I like cheesy jalapeno poppers. So I figured I would give it a shot. They pretty much just smell like the jalapeno Pringles. Like, I'm not, <laughs> they pretty much, they really just smell like the jalapeno Pringles. And now that I smelt them and got that, I'm, already in my head thinking it's probably just gonna be a mix of the jalapeno Pringle seasoning and the cheddar Pringle seasoning. They look decently seasoned for a Pringle because like Pringles are known for being like not seasoned at all. Whoa. I hope he can forgive me. I hope the little man forgives me inside. That tastes like a jalapeno popper, baby. I cannot describe how much I like this. It is like cream cheese and they like nailed the jalapeno cream cheese flavor, like spot on. And you also get like that fried flavor just from like it being a chip, right? Like a potato chip. I actually cannot believe how spot on these taste like a jalapeno cheesy popper. I can't, I might have to give this an, I, I, I might have to give this a 10 out of 10. It's a good snack. I can keep eating it and it tastes spot on to a jalapeno popper filled with cream cheese. Like just like the little TGIF ones you buy at the store. The new Dragon Sweet Chili Takis. Look at this bag. Now tell me that's not a pretty bag, am I right? Um, I was at five below when I saw these. So, if you're, if you're in New York, I would go to, there's a bug crawling on my camera, I see him. Oh, okay. They're much more milder than I thought, like smell wise. They don't really smell like a lot. They kind of just smell like a, like a taki. They're not like a fuego taki, but just like taki without seasoning, like baked tortilla, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> they are not hot in the slightest. Aww. Literally those Baja fiery mangoes are the spiciest thing I've had so far. It has a, it, it's hot in like a, like a chili pepper, red pepper flake kind of way. So I mean, if that stuff gets you, you might think it's hot. But if you are somebody who likes spicy foods and snacks, then this will probably be absolutely nothing to you. It's not even as hot as like a flaming Cheeto to me. Taste-wise, 
it actually tastes really good. It has a really good Asian chili flavor. And sometimes I feel like with this, with the, they try to implicate like that Thai chili. Sometimes it's too like syrupy and sweet. But this one's good. It is sweet. But it's also got like that kick to it in the back of your throat that you want. Like that pepper. Like I said, that red peppery kind of kick. Yeah, I'm going to give these a 6 out of 10. It's really, they taste really, really good. But the reason I'm not, I'm not going up to like a 7 is just that like, First of all, it's not the same color as it is in the bag. And they are claiming it's a lot hotter than it is. Like a Fuego Taki is hotter than this, for sure. All right, now let's finally get into something sweet. We got some cinnamon sugar Rice Krispie Treats. And I don't really know if these are new, because they don't really say new on it anywhere. Like, they don't really say limited edition or anything, but I've never seen these before. And it could just be because I live in a small town. But, yeah. Cute little packaging, for sure. Have a little heart on it. They say home style cinnamon sugar. Okay, this one is this one is different. It has like marshmallow globs in there as well. As like have rice krispie treats always been like that? It has been so long since I've had any rice krispie treats to be honest. For sure. I remember why I really don't like rice krispie treats so much. Because they're so dry and sweet. Although, that tastes all right. I don't know, it's got a weird, it's very strong cinnamon. It says cinnamon sugar, and, and like, there's so much sugar in a Rice Krispie Treat that you could just put cinnamon on top, right? And it's kind of cinnamon sugar on its own. And that kind of feels like it's what it is. Like, it's a strong cinnamon flavor, like on the top of my throat, because it was like on top of the freaking Rice Krispie Treat. I'm like, like when I breathe, I can almost taste cinnamon, so. I don't know, I'm gonna have to give that Probably like a three out of 10, or maybe even a two out of 10. We're going down one. Sorry, Rice Krispie Treats. Oreos, you know, it's pretty much wouldn't be a snack video without Oreos. And because the more I'm doing this, and as an adult, the more I'm starting to take notice in like new products and stuff, it is insane how much Oreo has. They, like, we will we will see if it ever gets to the point that I'll do a snack video without a new Oreo, because they are just popping out flavors like it's nobody's business, apparently. It is also a thin. Uh, I think they probably only come in thins. I probably think they don't. They probably don't. I don't know if they only come in thins or not. Maybe the flavor is that strong. Oh, because it's espresso? Because tiramisu? I didn't think of that. Oh, I like cracked this thing open, dude, and I can smell these. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. It smells like coffee liqueur. That's for sure. It literally smells like chocolate coffee liqueur. Like, dude, I'm not, I'm this far away and I'm still smelling these. Oh, okay. Now I get why they're thins. Look, I've never even had an Oreo thin before. I don't think I've ever chosen to get one because it just seems kind of like, why? It's also just kind of a white cream. Let's just try. Oh, my hair is on my face. So. Oh my God. They break so easily. Ooh. This is good, dude. It tastes, it doesn't taste super tiramisu, but it does taste chocolatey, coffee, and creamy from like the mascarpone. So, I mean, it has tiramisu vibes. You definitely don't get any lady finger, and it's not super, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's really vanilla. You can taste the vanilla in it. It's really good. This would definitely be good with like actual coffee. It's like Dunkin'. Um, it's a lot creamier than I thought too for it being thin. Like, I never, uh, yeah, I just don't think I've ever gotten an Oreo thin before. I'm gonna give this a 8 out of 10. Pretty damn good. See, what did I say? Hey, I gotta keep up with the Oreo things because they just come out with so many things. Um, a little different from what we just had and everything else we've had. Sour Patch Kid Oreos. I have absolutely no idea what to think about this or what to expect. So we're really just gonna have to try it. Like, I could talk about the insane marketing collabs that these things do, but that's not what these videos are for, that's what my other videos are for. So let's just try the damn thing. Oh, that one was hard to open. It is giving, what are those cookies? Oh, I smell it. It smells like the perfume and hand lotion that like every girl in middle school uses. 
You know what I'm talking about? Like that bright pink stuff that you get that's like not Bath and Body Works stuff, but like a little cheaper. It smells exactly like that, like fake pink. <laughs> but it looks, it's giving like a uh, Funfetti cookie vibes, doesn't it? That's what it's giving. This one I will break open. Oh no, it looks like it's, it looks so funfetti, like every, it, Dunkaroos, that's what I'm trying to think of, it looks like Dunkaroos, like the way there's even the little like colors in the bright cookies and like the, the cream, it like, uh, it does not smell like that though and I don't think it's going to taste like it. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Mine camera died after that Oreo, Sour Patch Kid Oreo, and I did not realize for a few minutes. So the drinks you're about to see have been opened and I have already tasted them, but I'm going to do it again for you guys because I love you. Starting with the Karuba Elderflower Red Bull, the new summer edition. Uh, what I said about this is I was like, I go to a Euro market sometimes in Burlington and they have, and Europe's like really big on Fanta. And they have a lemon elderberry, lemon elderflower Fanta flavor there that I really like. So I've been in elderflower before. I never tried Karuba though. So that's new to me. It's pretty good. It definitely has like a pomegranate um, candy-ish taste to it. Like a, like a ring pop. I don't know why that's the first thing it made me think of. Um, but it's pretty good. It's got a very light flavor to it. Like it's not, it's very aromatic. It's much more aromatic than anything. Like I said, I've never had Karuba by itself, so I can't really tell you how close it tastes to the real thing. But it's pretty good. And I would give it a eight out of 10. I would drink this, like for sure. Is it better than the last year's summer edition though? I don't know. <laughs> All right, we got the creamy coconut Dr. Pepper. I forget what the event or what thing, what it was, but I do remember like when I saw the article about this getting dropped, it mentioned something that, something had happened prior with Coconut and Dr. Pepper that people seem to like, that made Dr. Pepper just be like, we'll create one ourselves. But I don't really remember like what the thing was that they were talking about. You know what I'm saying? Help me out in the comments if you do. <laughs> Yeah, it's very coconut heavy. Definitely would be good with Malibu or something. I'm not a super big coconut guy, but yeah, I don't know. It does taste like real coconut though, which I will give it that. It doesn't have like a super fake coconut flavor. I'll give it like, like a f six out of 10. Finally for my redemption with this dang thing, the Mountain Dew Baja Breakout Punch. And let me tell you, I searched time low for this thing when I did the other one. I've had the Laguna Lemonade since, like, literally the Eclipse. And I could not find this anywhere. I ended up going to a small town with Dollar General just to stop and pick something up. What do I see loaded in their cooler? This. So, I stocked up. Oh, and it, it smells so good. It smells just like wine punch, man. It smells so good. Ooh, it kind of tastes like Hawaiian punch, like fake cherry, strawberry, berry, red flavors all mixed together, fruit punch, you know? And it really has that vibe, but more carbonated and soda -y, which I like, so I'll give it eight out of 10. All right, now we got two new Pepsis, peach and lime. Let's start with peach, because I don't typically, I mean, I like peach iced tea, but I'm not super huge on peach things typically. Oh, and it's peachy, all right. Ooh, that comes through. That would be good. Ooh, oh, it's really peachy. That's all right. It, it would be. It would definitely. It would be good with like bourbon or rum or something like that. I think it's like meant for something like that. But oh, it's actually. It's got a much more artificial peach flavor than like a real peach flavor. So like, it kind of like almost feels like it's gonna give me a headache. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to do this a 2 out of 10. I'm sorry, Pepsi. But I am excited for this lime one. 
Cause I love citrus. Let me tell you. And that one's so much more subtle. You could put this with a real Pepsi like next to it, and it would be so hard to tell the difference. Like it does not smell super hard like lime. It does not taste super hard like lime. Like it really just kind of tastes like a Pepsi, which is pretty good. Um, but because of that, because of it trying to be marketed as something else, and I don't really think it meets that expectation, I might have to just give it like a four out of ten. Cause I wish it was more lime flavored. Honestly, it's, it's very subtle limey. All right. Now we got some new cereal, starting with the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It is waffle. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to taste like waffle or if it just looks like waffle, but I guess we'll find out. It smells just like a cinnamon sugar snack, like graham crackers. <laughs> oh, my, it, oh, it's so dusty. Man, my finger's so dusty. I guess it kind of looks waffly. Okay, again, it tastes good, yes. But for it trying to market itself waffly, it really just tastes like a churro snack, like a graham cracker, like those dried churro snacks you get. And like, there's nothing, there's nothing super special about it really, you know what I'm saying? It's just another cinnamon sugar option. So I'm gonna have to get this, uh, I'll give it a six out of 10. Now we got chocolate Lucky Charms, which originally I was thinking about passing up, on this uh, video, um, because I was like, well, if it's just chocolate cereal, I mean, whatever. But there are chocolate marshmallows in here, actually. So, the moon and star shaped ones are chocolate. Let's try them. It kind of just tastes like a mini marshmallow that's been soaking in hot chocolate, which is pretty good. I mean, especially with milk, that's kind of exactly what you want. Uh, let's try the little chocolate cereals. What are just Cocoa Crisp? It literally just is like <laughs> Cocoa Crisp, Cocoa Pebbles. Pretty good though. I imagine all together, like in a bowl with milk, it would be uh, pretty good. All right, now we got Chester Ranch Fries. I'm not usually, I'm not really excited. I'm just gonna get, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it out of the way. I'm not super excited about trying this because uh, I'm not big on ranch flavored things, but I do like Cool Ranch Doritos. So, I mean, if it, and I don't know how accurate those are to ranch because I haven't had ranch in a long time because when I have a ranch, I don't like it. So, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Oh, oh, it smells like ranch. It smells so much more ranchy than the Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, no, 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 I'm so glad I have so many drinks. Drink just down with after, let's just get through it. Breathe, breathe. It's not terrible. It is giving a lot of ranch flavor, but it also kind of tastes like, kind of like instant mashed potatoes, like garlic and chive mashed potatoes, you know what I'm saying? Like how you just whip them together like in the microwave real quick. I do not like that at all. I'm gonna give that a one out of 10. And lastly, we got the other tiramisu snack I was talking about. Tiramisu Dove Chocolate. Again, I'm really not into milk chocolate. I'm really not that big into caramel. But I'm hoping that it'll get that ranch flavor out of my mouth. Oh, they're so soft. Like, like in a chewy way, like turtle. Yeah, I don't know, it's not super bad. Like I said, I'm not super big on milk chocolate or caramel. Um, and I don't really get any tiramisu in there. So I'm gonna have to give this like a one out of 10. It feels like everything was either bad this video or good. There was not a whole lot of in-between stuff. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you've had any of these snacks that I've tried. Let me know which ones you were gonna go wanna try. And let me know which ones that you wanna yell at me for, for ranking them too high or too low. And I will appreciate all of those and get back to you because I love the community that we're starting to build here. It's pretty awesome. So. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time I upload something. Peace.